All right, it's that time. It's the middle of April. April is what I call Creek Fishing Awareness Month. It's time for you to go out there and start exploring and start at least finding some creeks. If it's still cold in your area, at least go out and start planning out your fishing trips. If you're down here in Tennessee and south, it's time to get in the water. I'm gonna be waiting today. It's warm, the grass is growing, the weeds aren't too high, the bugs are out, the fish are getting active. And I'm gonna take a rod and we're gonna go down here and try and catch some fish. I just had a new rod made because I love messing around, having little custom rods made. So I want to try it out. I got it made at, at Joe's Custom Rods here at uh, Fishtails in Cleveland, Tennessee. It's a 6.3 light. Picked up a couple of lures while I'm there because I didn't want to take a lot of stuff. Got some little panfish assassins. Um, got some swivels and a couple spinner baits. And I got the hooks for these too. So I'm just throwing these in my pocket. I don't want to take a bag or anything. Got my rod. We're going to go down here, do a little fishing. I think we're going to catch a bunch of fish. Um, I'm hoping some bass will show up and also some big sunfish, but these are these are right here. I'll get it done Whew. The water's still a little chilly, but it's not bad There we go fish on There's the first one Oh fat red breast that's the kind of fish we're looking for. I do want to catch some bass. I want to know if the bass are still in this creek because this creek changes every time, every year I come to it. I don't fish this in a lot because there's like the short section that's kind of like a, got some little bit of deep holes, but sometimes the deep holes change and then sometimes they come back. It's a gravel, muddy bottom. Gets washed around a lot from floods. Like, man, it's deeper than I thought here. Last time it wasn't deep here, now it's like, Two foot deep in a big hole. I may have spooked off a couple bass. Mm. There we go. That's uh there's a I was getting all kinds of hits. I know there's something big enough to eat in there. With a red breast. Number three, red breast. Okay, where are these other guys at? I know these red breasts are active. Oh, there we go. I saw that fish bite. They're biting it very soft. There was several bites in here. These fish are in here because this is a deep, deep hole here. They're just not, um, they're just not like eating the whole thing. They're just kind of nipping at it right now which I'm still have already caught what, I guess four in like 10 or 15 minutes. But sometimes you get to these little spots with a lure like this, you can catch 20 in 15 minutes sometimes. Oh, we got one. Another soft buy, he's a bluegill. There's my bluegill. I wonder if these guys like how fast they grow because a lot of times these small these fish they breed and they you know have babies up here and they grow and they get really big in these kind of streams but it's like i wonder if they um like from a few months of growth they get like you know they grow a lot in a, in a short amount of time whereas if you fish it in the spring or small then you come back a couple months later in the summer then they're like you know, a whole lot bigger. Uh, let's see, I got a little one sixteenth ounce. And we'll just go with this orange one since the water is just a hair murky. I mean, they're gonna see it anyways with a flash, but let's go with this bright. I like bright colors anyways, in these streams. I just got a little swivel, snap swivel with a barrel on it. Yes, um, I like the way Fishhawk does it. He puts a, a swivel up here like and then leader line but for most part i don't think it's going to make a difference in here and it will help a little with my line twist and it gives a little weight this is a light lure oh yeah i think a mile now 
Now let's just see if we start catching fish and had a hit. Oh, that was cool. I think I rammed it. Oh, stuck on a tree. I saw him come up and hit it. He's not even big. Let's go. There we go. All right, first catch. Little little bluegill. He hit that thing hard though. Goodness, I gotta hit it. Oh, another one, little one came off. Actually, it hasn't been. I thought it would be a lot more hitting this rooster tail they're um i think they're just a hair still slug oh i know huh? i'm getting some hits but i'm not getting just the amount of hits from the bigger ones they haven't got that hot summer aggression yet where come here is 90 degrees and they're just slamming everything oh sl dude that was a big fish that was a nice bass Oh man, I hate that I lost that one because that was a nice fish. He probably barely nipped at it too, just barely ate it. Log jam. I don't think it's a beaver dam the way it no, I don't I don't think it is, but they would have fixed it if they were still here. But uh that right there is a prime spot for a nice bass to be. Oh my lord didn't work. Come on. Spin. Oh, no. And I got over a tree and I wrapped around the tree. Oh, oh, and it came back out. Oh, it was a deer right there. And I'm hooked up. <laughs> right when that deer, I heard him uh, blow at me and then I caught something. Oh, a little bass. There's a large mouth. I thought maybe uh, they would be a little more aggressive as I get down towards the deeper pools. That doe's still over there. She's running around doing something. Well, he's just a little feller, but they gotta start small to get big. Oh, there's one. A nice little bluegill. I some I've gotten some. I wonder if they moved out like after the flood. There used to be some big old bluegill in here, which or they just could be a little lazy. Because I know we had that one bass I hit, and there's probably a bunch more that have just were like, uh, it's a little too fast for me this time of the year. I'll wait another few weeks, then I'll start chasing that. Oh, oh there's something there. There's another one. And he feels a little better. Oh, well, there's a little bit better bluegill. He's fatter, that's for sure. He's healthy looking. Right off that old rotten log right there. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, it's a long year. That's cool. I don't get a lot of long ears. I go over Middle Tennessee and can catch them one after the other, but you can't catch red breasts. So this one, this stream has long ear and red breast. It's a little one, they don't get real big. Oh, holy cow. That's a, <laughs> he hit right in front of me. That's back to back casts. And both those casts, I was going to turn around and go the other way, and I end up catching a fish. A little largemouth. I don't know if they're following it or if they're just right here behind, right, right in front of me. Um, all right, well, let's make another one. That's two casts in a row where I, boom, three casts in a row. All of a sudden, holy cow. 
I went through a long section there and didn't get a fish. Now, look how deep he ate that. Now that guy wanted it. Good thing I brought these little, little pliers. That's the only thing I brought with me, these pliers. Got a pocket knife and um, this couple rooster tails and a little couple little, uh, uh, those little grub lures. All right, one of the reasons there's probably those fish are more aggressive and uh, just acting different because this this is getting this little creek runs into a bigger creek right here and the water's high enough where the fish can kind of swim up to that pretty easy out of the bigger creek oh oh there's my little bass hey right, that'll take that little 10 inch large mouth and he choked it see they're like eating a lot more aggressively back here <laughs> well okay not 10 maybe eight inches oh i see what happened the uh point here is like all mud it used to be different right here so it's actually not backed up it's flowing into the creek a lot easier but the, this creek has changed way the the bank on it all right let's go ahead and switch but i mean obviously if you don't know rooster tails great lures that just catch all kinds of fish this is about the smallest i'll throw this is a 116 down it's pretty small but uh, you know a little bit bigger than this the uh, this 1 8 is probably a really good one for all species but uh, obviously this did pretty good and i think the fish just aren't really that aggressive so probably would have caught a lot more um if they were a little more aggressive all right back to the panfish assassin and i only brought a 132 ounce i probably could have used a 1 ounce because these some of these holes are three, four foot deep, but um, one thirty second ounce is pretty good. Oh, dude, I saw something come out and hit the, I saw the wake of the fish come out and hit this little lure. Oh, there's another one. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my goodness. Holy cow. There's those blue kill. I told you there was some big bluegill in here. Oh my, that is a eating bluegill. Dude, I gotta get a picture of him. If you wanna see a picture, you gotta go and follow me on Instagram. Plus, if you uh, caught your first creek fish or you caught some creek fish, tag me on Instagram or hashtag creek fishing adventures and um show me what you caught out of these i like especially all these little creeks i love seeing what comes out of these little creeks maybe what's in your area because that's a that's a really good bluegill right there that's cool that's where sometimes just a different lure rooster tail works lots of lures work so oh man they're in there but this lure i can drop in this hole and let it sink in there oh dude there's a bunch of them in there they're hammering it that's why, I mean, sometimes, like today, I only brought two lures. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's a bass. <laughs> oh, man. What is going on with that hole right there? It's that last hole right before, see, it's the last hole right before this big creek. There's, that's my, it's my favorite place to fish on creeks. The, like the mouth of a small creek, right at it, as it, right before it runs into a big creek. It's just something about it oh my goodness we just hit the honey hole that's another nice bluegill would you th did you know that i wouldn't say this i was gonna say at the end if i hadn't caught anything i actually was a little disappointed with how the fishing has been um until that last hole back there where i caught a bunch of the rooster tail because most of the time i can catch a bunch of fish in the first 20 30 minutes and it took me 45 50 minutes to get that hole now i've been here uh hour and 10 minutes which that's a short amount of time but a long time sometimes for these creeks to like think man i should have caught you know 15 20 fish by now i guess i've gotten spoiled 
but just like this, boom, it goes from, yeah, I caught a few, didn't find those big ones, to I found this little hole right here, caught two big old bluegill, lost a largemouth, oh, and there's more in there. They're biting at it. I just got to get them to eat the whole thing. Dude, they're smacking it, smacking it, smacking it. Got it. <laughs> it's because they're bluegill. These are good bluegill. Goodness. Ooh, this has turned out to be an awesome little creek day. I kind of want to almost like stand over it like they do those crappie rods. Just dangle it. Oh, it's not working. Oh, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, dude, they are in there. I'm like barely seeing them because the water is just a hair murky. But I'll see them come out and hit it. Eat it, eat it. Oh, oh. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. If I had like a eight foot rod, I could sit here and just pick them out. So if I was fishing with worms and I found this spot, I could probably catch a lot more fish. But I do get asked a lot, why don't I use worms? Like I like using worms, worms are fun. Lures are more fun and so much more easy to, I don't have to go Keep up with the worms, are they gonna die on me? When am I gonna take them in the truck? When am I not? Um, I wasn't even planning on fishing here today. I went and got some stuff done at the bank. Um, went by and picked up this rod that I had ordered. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna grab a couple lures and stop at this creek and fish it. And most people that fish these little streams, just for fun, are just gonna use lures and they're gonna stop after work you got a little bit of time and hit them. And where worms or shiners or what, they're gonna catch more fish, yes. But it's about availability and just being able to just get out there and get it done. There we go. Oh, oh these are just littler ones. Those bigger ones sitting back here. There's probably a few up here, but there's so many little ones thumping at this thing. Yeah, I um, somebody's probably gonna say it in the comments, but if I had a fly rod at this spot right here, I think I'd catch a fish every cast because I see them. I see them up there. They're eating something, and they're and the bugs have already been coming out and falling out of the sky, falling out of the trees, and uh, you know that's that's definitely what they're they're eating up there. At the same time, I'm getting hit after hit, but. It's just, they're not taking it. I got that one or no? Yes, oh wow. Uh, oh, another, no, it's a green sunfish. We got our first greenie of the day. Tiny little dude. Where's the bigger ones at? Them bigger ones got a big old mouth. Oh, finally got him. I think I just had to let it sink to the bottom. There's a nice bluegill. It's probably gonna be the end. I can see the sun starting to go down and it's got some clouds over it. Well, he's, he ain't as big as those other ones, but he's pretty good. Dude, fishing like this just makes me laugh. I, I, I just enjoy it. It's just fun to get out here for two hours at the most that I was out here, uh, do a little wading. I got to walk back about a eh, quarter mile, not much at all. Catch a bunch of fish, just interact with the fish. I lost a bunch of fish. I got my uh, lure tangled up in the trees a few times. Um, you know, just that's just fishing. So get out here and have fun. I tried a couple different lures that wasn't sure which one was going to be better, and kind of I'm not, still not sure which one was better. One was better in a certain situation. One was better in a different another situation. Obviously, catching fish is you know really fun, um, but just being out here, 
and taking in the sounds of the nature and watching. I'm over here watching. There's so many little fish that are coming up hitting the top. I don't know exactly know what they're eating, but they're just like making, they're hitting, eating something off the top of the water. It's kind of cool just to see. But that's it anyways. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Maybe throw in what's your favorite creek fishing lure. If you got a lure that you think that's, uh, this is the one that gets them. Maybe it changes us uh, spring, summer, fall. I know my lures, I can use some all the time, but then some I like to use at different times. Kind of some are more for fun. Some are more for just like straight catching fish. And, uh, but it's, you know, it's all about fun. So get, get you a little light rod. So I, just got, I got four pound line on this one and I can throw small lures. And if I hook into a bass or two, I can handle it. I just had smaller hooks. That's why I, I think I, why I lost a couple of these. But anyways, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. What? What is this? Oh my, what a bonus red breast. Holy cow, I fished this hole really good coming through. I wanted to make a couple more casts. We got ourselves a slab. Wow. Well, if you stayed to the end, I mean, you got to see this awesome red breast, so, you know, that was worth it, right?